Hey there, fine peoples. P.T. Pop here with all four lobes of my brain, securely bound behind my back, and welcome to another episode of Call Center Survivor. Today, I'm going to review a T-Mobile. I can't even say it. A T-Mobile. T-Mobile. A T-Mobile call center video. Stay tuned. The customer is why. Oh, doesn't that give you shivers? I'm, I'm choked up. Customer is why. <laughs> this is why I do this job. And the customers are so wonderful. Would you like fries with that? Would you like fries with that? Hey, if you want to support this this channel, if you really sincerely want to support this channel, give it the thumbs up. The thumbs up help my rankings, I think. And if you subscribe, it helps me even better. For some reason, the algorithm that YouTube has, I get maybe 50 subscribers a month. It's always 50. It's never 100. It's never 200. It's never 6. It's, never, it's always 50. They, they sequester me to 50. So please subscribe. Give me the thumbs up. Pass on the... Pass on. Pass it on. Pass on the, the word about my channel. If you do want to support this channel, I do have a book called Press One for Murder. It's for sale on Amazon. And it is a decent price, and it's a book of fiction. It's a novella. And it is about a young guy who has worked in a call center for a local bank, and some of his customers are dying, and the police think he's killing up his customers. I've got a couple other books, Breathe, John Lennon, Conspiracy to Murder, which is a book of fiction. Uh, as if it, It's a story, basically, that John Lennon faked his own death so he could escape stardom. I've got another book called Small, which is about a guy who uh, is tired of his life as a 50-year-old man and decides he wants to be 10 again, and he meets a gypsy hooker who grants his wish, and he becomes a 10-year-old boy again. It's kind of the opposite of the, of the story of Big with Tom Hanks. But thank you for watching. Thanks to all of you. I've got about... 5,040 subscribers. I appreciate each and every one of you for making this possible. As I said in my previous video, I don't make a lot of money with this. Today I have a video that we're going to go over called T-Mobile. Life at T-Mobile Call Center. And I think you're going to like this one. And we're going to start on this today. This is another doozy, man. This is an absolute, complete doozy. And... <sighs> It opens up, as you would expect, with the whole team thing going on here. And people just having a good time and yeehaw and woohoo and woohoo and whole thing. So, so pay attention to the music, to the editing, to the people, to the smiles, to the high fives and the slapping. It's, it's all, it is all, 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 all baloney. So here we go. Here's the opening. Now, this is a almost a four-minute video, but it seems to drag on forever. Doesn't that music get you going? All right. T-Mobile. Yeah. 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 Oh, I got to work at T-Mobile now. Let, let's start that over again. See, now that I've regained my composure... Oh, yeah. I've worked for a lot of companies in my time, and I've never had a company treat me better than T-Mobile has. Well, he's worked for a lot of companies, huh? They get the jazzy sound of voice guy. Yeah, I work for a lot of them more. I work for a lot of companies in my time, and nobody's treated me as good as T-Mobile's. Yeah. My job is highly enjoyable, and I have a... Highly enjoyable? <laughs> Are you, uh... It's highly enjoyable, okay. Last year, the funnest job I've ever had. I feel like I am successful. I feel I'm successful, yay! He needs Mr. Oingo Boingo! Oh, I'm successful, yay! This job really isn't for everyone. You really have to have patience. You really have to be open for customer service. Being first time call center to me, it's, 
it was definitely a very, very big challenge. The first six months was, was probably the hardest. It wasn't as easy as I thought it was going to be. It was having to navigate the customer's account. It was having to multitask in different systems. It was having to do the troubleshooting with the customer or take a payment. In training, you hear a lot of specific call types, and then you go on a... Oh, look at that. Doesn't that make you sick? Look at that. A sea of cubicles of pure armpit. Is that what the guy says in Big Nothing? Pure filth. Ugh. You really have to be open for customer service. Being first time call center to me, it's, it was definitely a very, very big challenge. The first six months was, was probably the hardest. It wasn't as easy as I thought it was going to be. It was having to navigate the customer's account. It was having to multitask in different systems. It was having to do the troubleshooting with the customer or take a payment. In training, you hear a lot of specific call types and then you go on the floor and it's, it's so random. You go on the floor and it's total hell what it is they they lie to you in training they lie they lie they lie I mean, there's so many different people calling in you may get a customer there that's uh someone's grandma and lives alone and you may talk to a family who has eight devices on their account your rank based upon your stats and your metrics uh, how successful you were is what determines what schedule you're gonna get that's true i mean if you're you meet the metrics and you put in for a shift bid, you can get any shift you want. But if you don't meet the metrics, you're fucked, people. You're fucked. They give you a variety of different shifts to pick from. So it was a lot. No, they don't. They don't give you a variety of shifts to pick from. They only give you a variety if those shifts have availability to them, which they probably do. But if you don't meet the metrics, you're stuck where you're at. Pardon me, I've got to have some uh, acai here. That's kind of a lie. Kind of true, kind of a lie. To adjust to in the first six months. Yeah, 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 yeah. T-Mobile, yeah. Everyone's just standing around juggling. Everyone's just standing around juggling, having fun, laughing, smiling in the break room. It's a nice sunny day out in what looks like what is that, Colorado or Arizona or something, New Mexico? It really is a family. It's like a T-Mobile family. Oh, it's a family. It's an asylum. It's not a family. It doesn't matter if it's T-Mobile or Verizon or AT&T or whatever. It's an asylum. Gotta hear some more of this music, yeah! They will definitely give you all the tools so you're successful. Because there's a co They give you all the tools to be successful? Oh my god, I don't think so. Coach and a senior, both of them will always, always have your back, helping you out, giving you steps. They, they look at this, a little team meeting. Why is everyone wearing black? Was there a funeral? No, because the producer of this video came in and said, "Hey, everybody, to keep our white balances right, can everybody wear black the day we shoot this video? It looks better on camera." Guide you, and they'll they'll sit you actually next to the tenured people. That oh, they'll sit you next to the tenured people, huh? Yeah, they did that with me and the tenured people are like, what the hell do you want? <laughs> they don't want anything to do with you. And they don't have time to talk to you. The calls, some of these call centers, are, it's an avalanche of calls. And they don't have time to talk to you. That way, if you have a question, you can just turn to the side, ask your neighbor, and that way they can help you out and coach you. The team that I was on um, had three people that just came out of training. What we've got here is failure to communicate. So as a result, they were going through what I had went through about three months ago. And so I tried to give them a little bit of mentoring and a little nudge to put them back on track. A little nudge to put them back on track. That's a nice way of saying they he basically said, hey, look, you don't get your shit together. You're going to get shit canned. He gave him a kick in the ass, people. He gave him a kick in the ass. What the hell's going on out here? And they said, Steve, thanks for believing in me. And when you're a mentor, you're oh, yeah, they said, Steve, Steve, I've gone up to my supervisor and said, Steve, uh, can I talk to you for a minute, buddy? I, uh, I want to thank you, Steve. You helped me out there on the floor, and uh, thanks for being there for me, buddy. I love your hat. I love your deep jazz voice. Yowza. You're not just um, told what you're doing wrong. 
but you're oh you're not you're not just told what you're doing wrong oh okay you're told how you could fix it and how uh-huh it can um change the outcome of your the next call that you take we don't coach you high fives man give me a high five oh man we're just having fun here at t-mobile man they got the women right here they, they got some real uh Ruben-esque ladies. That's what it looks like in a call center. Numbers at Team we coach to behaviors. We listen to calls and we would find that one behavior that's going to drive all the metrics to um, get better. And that's what we would coach to. We would set a plan around that. Oh, they're laughing and they're clapping. Yay! 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 hoops and everything is so much fun. It's it's getting to be re goddamn ridiculous. T Mobile, T Mobile, everybody, let's get me some more high fives. <laughs> When you go through these steps, you realize, you know, that first time you resolve that issue, it's like, oh my gosh, you know, it's so exciting. Oh my god, it's so exciting, it's so exciting, yay, yay, Mr. Oringa Bongo is excited, got his juices going. <laughs> and so, and that's, that's the most amazing feeling, and you know, you just build that confidence over time. Once the training was done. Oh, all hands in. All hands in. Oh. And I was, I was excited. I couldn't wait to get to the floor, and it was gonna be like a whole new learning experience all over again. I had to go meet new people. I bet you he, he hit the road after about three months of being on the phones at T-Mobile. A uh, new trainer slash coach, uh, sixteen new reps. When I came to T-Mobile, it was different. Um, Check out the zany purple hat. Yay! They really cared about their employees. They cared about. Uh, people. Oh, look at those little, I love those little things they handle, those little stupid placards they hand out. Uh, people. That they had printed at Office Max. Look at this. Universum Top 100 Ideal Employer 2012 Student Survey. I have no idea what that is. Alba, oh, I was right, it's New Mexico. Albuquerque Journal, congratulations, T-Mobile USA, Top Workplaces. Yeah, I probably a lot of people work there because, uh, New Mexico, Nevada, Arizona, very transient places where people come and live for about two minutes and then they take off and go someplace else. So it wasn't just a customer service job. I felt like I was doing something important. It's a fun working environment. Hey, welcome to the, hey, hey, look, hey, Bill. How's it going on the phones today? Hey, take that noose off your neck, buddy. It changes your perspective once you're in here. That's something I really love about this is the, the positivity and just that good, the good environment. Welcome team. Welcome to the team. They put this up every time somebody new starts. Welcome to the best team ever. I can't read that. Welcome to the team. Hope you can learn and be as good as I am. Ernest F. Hey, welcome. You're okay. Welcome to the team. We're all excited to have you they must put this oh this must be for somebody that's a new employee i'm in good energy that you feel working here resolve you make a difference grow t-mobile customer service and sales i mean a cell phone is is to some people just a cell phone take but it to, to the our next level the customer is why oh doesn't that give you shivers i'm, I'm choked up Customer is why. <laughs> this is why I do this job. And the customers are so wonderful. <laughs> Our customers, it's a livelihood. It's their connection to the people that they love. And what? Who loves? Well, I tell you what, none of us that work in the call center love the customers. And the customers do not love us to work in the call center. So I can tell you that. Even now, after all these years of working in call centers, anytime I have to call in a call center, I break on a sweat because I know I'm going to get some idiot on the phone who can answer my questions and I was better off, talk, better off talking to the wall. They really want us to do the right thing by people. Look at the 
solution. Make customers happy. Gotta make them happy. Yay. Yay. Make the customers happy. Woo. Woo. Woo! What a load of crap. What a load. So there you have it. There's T-Mobile call centers. Life in the T-Mobile call center, whatever that was. I don't know, man. Try this as my hair piece. See if I get some looks at the local grocery store, pick up some hot young ladies. Hey, honey, you like my Oingo Boingo? Do you want to play with my Oingo Boingo? This, this whole this whole video is total bit baloney, balagna. It's total crap. And so, thank you for watching. That's T-Mobile. T-Mobile live at a T-Mobile call center. Hope you all have had a good week and take care. I'm gonna be doing some traveling tomorrow, and I'm gonna be work. I'm working on my movie, um, my documentary, Drunkard's Path, about my life growing up with two alcoholic parents living in poverty, growing up to be the fine, fine man that I am, due to my faith in the Beatles and artist, my artistry. Have a good day. Take care. I'll be the same, baby. Would you like fries with that? Would you like fries with that?